Hey there, so you're an IGCSE, A-level or O-level student wondering what the best online resources to use for studying are. Don't worry, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all of the best study resources for IGCSE, O-level and A-level students. Alright, so first up, past paper websites. Past papers are one of those things that you simply cannot study in IGCSE, A-level or O-level subject without. And there are a lot of websites out there that act as past paper repositories and collections. All of these websites have the same content with the only difference in them being their UI or their user interface. A few such websites which I would personally recommend would be gceguide.net, dynamicpapers.com, and papacambridge.com. Personally, I prefer GC Guide's UI. It's just a personal preference. But at the same time, GC Guide can sometimes be a little slow to updating the latest papers. So try to stay informed. And if you see that the latest paper has not been uploaded to one of the sites that you're looking at, it might be a good idea to go and check another site. Also, if you're not interested in doing the legwork of going through websites, downloading papers, putting them together, removing blank pages and the such, I'll leave a link down below in the description to a Python based utility that I've made, which can automatically download and compile papers, along with providing a lot of really handy functions like being able to remove formula lists, blank pages, download individual series and much more. Next up, revision notes. There are a lot of websites out there which have both short form and long form revision notes which you can use when studying for IGCSE, O-level and A-level subjects. These notes tend to vary a lot in terms of how thorough or concise they are and also different subjects are featured differently on different websites. Each site has its own unique use case that you can only really figure out if you go through the notes yourself, but let me try and break down a few of the basic ones for you. Save My Exams is an amazing resource for revision notes. They've got really in-depth, thorough notes for all of the sciences and for a few other subjects, along with custom-made illustrations and a pretty thorough review of all of the concepts that are covered in your syllabus. I would definitely recommend going through the Save My Exams notes if they have notes for a subject that you're doing. Znotes is another extremely useful revision notes website. They have short, to the point and concise notes for a lot of different subjects and they are extremely helpful, especially as last day or last minute revision guides. For me, the Z notes are what I usually read on the morning before the exam or when I'm at the center waiting for my exam to start. Physics and Math Tutor has a lot of very concise notes along with definitions, flashcards, topical questions, and much more. There's a lot of subject specific websites that you can probably find out there that have a lot of revision notes, but these three provide a great starting point and are also amazing resources in of themselves. Topic wise questions can also be extremely helpful when you're revising for a subject as they allow you to focus your energy onto a specific type of question or a specific topic. Save My Exams, which I mentioned earlier, has a lot of topic wise questions, both for multiple choice and theory. They're sorted in terms of difficulty and topic, meaning that it can be really helpful, especially on the day before the exam, when you want to go through, say, only the harder level questions from a particular topic that you're having trouble with. This is why I would 100% recommend using the Save My Exams questions. They're an amazing resource. Physics and Math Tutor has a lot of topic-wise questions for a few specific subjects. They can be really helpful since they're thorough and follow the same format as past paper exam questions. Znotes, which I mentioned earlier, also has a newly implemented quiz feature which allows you to do MCQ style questions for a variety of different topics. While the questions are currently limited, more are being added every day, so I think it's definitely a good resource to check out. Another website which I'd recommend looking through would be ExamMate, which has a lot of topical past papers and other resources which can come in really handy the day before an exam or even while preparing for a subject when you're first starting it. Now, you've got past papers, you've got notes, you've got topical questions. What do you do if you come across a topic you don't understand or come across a question that you don't know how to solve but the mark scheme doesn't provide a definitive answer? Or maybe you just want to help out other students. You want to try teaching because it's an amazing way of revising your concepts and making sure that you're clear with everything. Well, that's where online study communities come in. There are a lot of communities on both Discord and Reddit, 
where you can interact with other students, solve questions, have your own doubts solved, attend free live study sessions, get help from your peers, and much, much more. They're an amazing resource, and I'm personally a massive fan of them. I'd recommend checking out the Zenotes Discord, the r slash IGCSE Discord, and the r slash A-Level Discord, along with the IGCSE and A-Level and O-Level communities over on Reddit. You can also find a wide variety of resources, which I haven't mentioned here, posted in these communities. And they're a great place to find a lot of really hidden, niche, unique websites that can help you out with a lot of different subjects. All right, so that's all. I'm going to leave links to all of the resources that I've mentioned down in the description below. If you end up finding any of them useful or if you find this video helpful in any way, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. Feel free to leave a comment down below shouting out any underrated resources that I might have missed or even big websites that I haven't mentioned in today's video. And also, feel free to ask any questions that you have. I'll try and answer as many of your questions as possible. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm out and thank you very much for watching.